Today we're gonna to be making a tier list with all the pre-workouts that I've tried. I'm gonna tell you what ones are push and pre and what ones you should throw in the trash. All right, what is up everybody? We are here making our tier list with our pre-workout. So let's get started, let's jump right in. All right, starting off we got Ghost pre-workout. Uh, I'll be honest, I got the ready to go uh, ghost like energy drink one time and the Sour Patch flavor is super good. I would definitely get that again, but the pre-workout, I can't really say the same about. Uh, I'm gonna put it in, let's see, I'll probably put it in the C tier. Um, it's kind of underdosed. The flavor, the flavor is S tier. You know, it tastes exactly like it's supposed to. I've tried the Sour Patch and the Swedish Fish and they both taste, you know, exactly like they're supposed to. Um, you know, low in calories, five calories. Um, but it has 4,000 milligrams of L-citrulline. I'd like to see 6,000. Uh, it's got a full serving of beta alanine, which is fine. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of beta alanine, but you know, I don't mind it. And if you're gonna put it in, at least go with a full serving. So they do a good job there. Um, and then caffeine, uh, they have 250 milligrams, which again, you know, some people might like that. I prefer 300 and above. Um, and then L-tyrosine, they do a good job with 1,000 milligrams, but it's the L-citrulline and the caffeine uh, that just kind of put it in the C tier. You know, I wouldn't get it again for those reasons. Next up, we've got Bucked Up Woke AF. Uh, this one, this one I'm putting in the A tier. This is a solid pre-workout. I would definitely get it again. Uh, the only drawback for me really is the flavor. Um, now, I don't know if that's just the one that I got, but it tastes kind of chemically to me. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of that. It's not the worst, you know, I've had worse pre-workout flavors. Um, not any of them on here, just tried friends and they're not my favorite. Uh, but that one for me, the flavor's not great, but the ingredients are great, they stand out. Uh, you got sodium in there, citrulline malate, 6,000 milligrams, uh, beta alanine, 3,200, caffeine and hydrous. 333 milligrams um, and then you know you, you just got some other stuff in there but uh, you know citrulline malate beta alanine uh, caffeine anhydrous and then they have their alpha size which is like a pump product uh, those are all well dosed um, overall just solid dosing would definitely buy it again gotta try the other flavors though um, but that's an A tier for me and then next up we've got pre gym now remembering back I took this one earlier on in my lifting days um, so, you know, it definitely hit harder. So when I was thinking through the tier list before looking back at the ingredients, this was going to be an A tier for me, but that's definitely not the case anymore. Uh, this is going in the B tier. Uh, now the reason that I put it in the B tier is because it is slightly underdosed. Um, flavor, really, really good. Uh, caffeine got 300 milligrams, so we're good there. Uh, you know, they put stuff like BCAAs, which, you know, that's fine. They're not needed. They're not going to do anything. They're not going to enhance your performance immediately in any way. Um, but, you know, it's cool that they put them in there. Uh, but beta alanine, they only have two grams. So, you know, underdosed. Why put it in there? If you're not going to put a full serving, you know, that's not going to do anything. Um, and then they have citrulline malate. They got six grams of that, so that's good. Um, but it's really that beta alanine. Uh, is underdosed. Creatine is underdosed at two grams. And they also put creatine hydrochloride um, instead of creatine monohydrate. And you know, creatine hydrochloride is not shown to have any benefits over monohydrate. Monohydrate super studied out. Um, you know, probably the most studied supplement that there is. Uh, and it's shown to be the best. So I don't know why they'd switch that up and then also underdose it. So, um, you know, good job with the caffeine, L-tyrosine, um, and with the citrulline malate, but everything else kind of underdosed. Uh, so it's gone in the B tier. And then next up, we got Nitro Surge. This is another A tier for me. Um, I would put this one just ahead of Woke AF, just because the flavor is better. Now again, with the Woke AF, could just be the flavor I got, but the Nitro Surge that I got, super good. The ingredient label is also pretty simple, which I like. They don't throw a bunch of crap in there uh, that is useless just to make it look like, you know, there's more in there. Um, but they got L-citrulline, six grams, beta alanine, 300, or er, 3.2 grams, uh, 
betaine anhydrous, we got 2.5 grams. Uh, caffeine anhydrous, uh, 360 milligrams, which is great. I like the higher dose of that. Uh, and then they have a few others. I don't really care about them. Um, but overall, you know, they got everything you need uh, with the right dosage and great flavor. Just a solid pre-workout, going to my A tier, and it may be a go-to for me in the future. We'll see. All right, next up we got Upmum Nutrition. This is also going into the C tier. Uh, now the reason for that, it's not the worst pre-workout. It's not awful, it might even be above Ghost. Um, but if I look at the ingredient label here, um, you know, low in calorie, that's good. Most of these are. Um, I think the pre-gym had like 80 calories though, which was weird. Um, but anyway, optimum nutrition, pre-workout, uh, underdosed on the creatine uh, at three grams. Beta alanine, we got 1.5 grams. Um, micro micronized L-citrulline, way underdosed, 750 milligrams. Um, L-tyrosine, way underdosed, 250 milligrams. Um, and then caf er, and then caffeine, we got 175 milligrams. Now you could, you know, do like a double scoop, um, but it would still be underdosed as far as L-tyrosine and L-citrulline go, which are two big ingredients. And so uh, that's just taking it down to the C tier for me. Uh, flavor's not bad. I think I would put it above Ghost um, just because the dosage is better, um, but Ghost still has a better flavor. Next up, we got Gorilla Mode pre-workout. This is S tier all the way. Um, you know, it has the, the best ingredients probably out of all of these. Um, <clears throat> for two scoops, which is, you know, what I do. L-citrulline, you got 9,000 milligrams, great. Creatine monohydrate, uh, you got 5,000 milligrams, full serving for the day. Uh, and now creatine isn't gonna have any performance enhancing benefits immediately. Um, you know for your workout, but it's nice to just throw it in there that we don't have to take it separately uh, They have glycer pump, which is their pump product 65% uh, glycerol powder. They got 3,000 milligrams uh, Betaine anhydrous 2,500 milligrams L-tyrosine 1,500 milligrams caffeine anhydrous 350 milligrams So it's really just you know kind of the perfect mix of everything you got the maximum dosages and They don't have beta alanine in there, which I'm fine with it's you know it, it does help, but it's like so, so minor that it's not really, you know, to me worth like the itchiness and the tingles. I'm not a fan of that. Some people are, so you know, if you like that, go ahead and get Nitro Surge. Um, but Gorilla Mode uh, is my favorite because it's just got good doses of everything and no beta alanine, which, you know, I could, I could, you know, go either way, but I prefer it without. Next up, we got C4. And uh, this one is definitely in the F tier. I'm not even gonna talk about it, it's just trash. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. All right, overall, uh, I'm sure most people would agree with my tier list. Uh, I would say anything C tier and below do not buy. Uh, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't buy pre-gym again. Some people might, you know, if they go to GNC. I think it is a little bit cheaper than some of the other ones, but. But I would definitely go with these top three up here. Uh, Gorilla Mode, Nitro Surge, and Woke AF. They're super good, super well dosed, flavor solid. So that's it. I know that I'm missing some pre-workouts that are pretty big. I'm missing like Rise and then HTLT or whatever. Uh, Greg Doucette's brand. Um, I haven't tried those yet. Uh, I will try those and I'll make a video review of those pre-workouts uh, in the future when I do. Uh, but these are just the ones that I've tried, that I've taken, you know, multiple times. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys got something from it. Uh, we'll see you next time.